So we're going to first take a look at the uh, Bing News article on my desktop. I have a touchscreen installed. The same for those of you that have all-in-one computers at home. So uh, you touch it and it first comes up with the, what they believe to be the main or the first most current article. You have your top stories here and you can have sources you can browse by sources or by topics. Now these are actually not called topics, they're called sections. And we'll show how you can configure these a little bit later on to make your reading experience very nice. But as you can see, it's a very smooth scrolling experience. So when you first come up, you can uh, take a look at your first article. So if I touch the title there, you'll see that it goes into the detail. And I can just lazily browse. You can do this with the mouse, which we'll cover a little bit later on as well. You can also get to the next article by using some of the controls here, next article or upcoming articles. So if we click on that, it automatically jumps to the next article. And we'll just browse through here and say, okay, these are all the top story articles uh, right now. So I just go back and forth, do what I want to do, and, and do all that. Now, I can also share it, by the way, with people by just clicking on that, and it brings up the share functionality. You can send an email with somebody because it's an article you want to share. But let's go back here to the main menu, and we're here again. Whoops, excuse me. So we'll just browse uh, from right to left and take a look at the different sections. So as we move through this, we can take a look at those different sections, and we can drill down further within that section if you want to do that. So that's uh, just some of the ways you can very easily uh, move it to your application. So next, we're going to look at how this thing is structured so we can see exactly how we can configure it later on. So now instead of the external view, we're on a capture program looking at the desktop. So we're going to go ahead and click on the application and we're going to take a look at it. We're back inside of it, but you'll see I have a mouse. And I'm going to be moving around with the mouse to show you how it uh, is operated and how it's structured. But first, we want to talk about structure first before we go into the details of doing it and configuring it because I want you to understand how the, what the layout does. So if we take a, a, and we click, click anywhere in the, in the media center of the screen, uh, we get the menu that comes up here. But down at the bottom, you'll see this customize button. And there it is. And there's the structure of the application. There's how it's constructed right now and how you're going to configure it uh, to make it the section and the reader into what you want to have rather than what's set up. Or you can leave it this way. But nonetheless, uh, this is how it's built. So now that we know how it's structured, we're going to go back and actually use it. I'm going to use a combination of mouse and touch here, but I'm going to use mouse so you can see where I'm clicking on the screen. But now you can see as we navigate from right to left, we go to the different sections like we talked about earlier in our external view of the desktop screen. But now we go into each one of these sections. So I'm, I'm sitting here looking and browsing through and saying uh, what I want to look at. I can drill into any article I, uh, that I want. I can go back to the regular front page and start there. But rather than having to swipe and scroll left to right, right to left, and do all that, I can just right-click on the screen and bring up a navigation menu. And as you can see, there's different things I can click on up here. There's the home page, topics, and all that. I can do browse by sources and do all sorts of different things. But if I really want to jump to those sections, I just go over here, here hit that drop-down, and there's those same sections. So instead of swiping all the time, I can jump to a different section here to go look at the news in that area. But let's say you just opened it up and you decide you want to just take the first article as it comes, the one that they say is the most recent. And you go down here to the bottom, you click on the headline, and you say Day After Storm. You click here and you can just swipe, go from right to left, and you can read your article and just do a nice fluid swiping motion, a nice little read. You can do this with your hand if you have a touch screen, or you can use a mouse to click uh, on the little arrows on the edges. And just keep looking through the articles and just have them come in as they come in. Of course, you're trusting the sources. This is a New York Times article. Uh, you can see the next source here is from another source. And you keep doing this and just reading whatever they feed you as articles. You can uh, skip using the menu system. Uh, you can go up to uh, upcoming. You skip to another one you want to have. You can do all those things. You can share it if you like it. Or you can have more from the New York Times, for example. But again, you can just swipe slowly and keep reading your daily uh, dose of information as they feed it to you. But you can also do something a little bit more, a little bit different that uh, is more in tune to what you may want to see. Instead of just taking them one by one, you can go back to the menu over here and you can go over to the different, what they call sections. And we can scroll over using the mouse or your uh, finger to flick. You can come over here and let's say this is the top stories, there's sources. Uh, and you can go ahead and take a look at what's there. Now we can click on 
I'll give more information on top stories and just not the ones they list there. And again, now it expands the panes off to the right, and there's even more of the top stories. And there'll be featured articles, news from the web, you know, different kind of stuff inside of that. But again, that's pre constructed for your top stories. You can go to sources, you can go in here and uh, look at some of the sources that they uh, feed for you. You can also add your own if you click there. Uh, you can choose different tech topics. For example, here's technology. Well, uh, I, you may want a GeekWire or Engadget or whatever your favorite one is. There's a lot listed here. And if you notice here, there's uh, uh, quite a few. Well, let's choose one. Let's use, uh, well, let's use Slashdot. Okay, if we click on that to add it to the uh, news feed for the uh, technology. So, or excuse me, for sources. So if we click there and say, okay, you notice that the Tech Republic was already there. And if I go back, and now on a list of sources, you'll see those that are there. So I have this list of sources. And now they're not inside of other areas. They are just their own source. You notice this is a just a uh, news feed. This one doesn't have any graphics in it. They don't uh, set it up for graphics, but it just allows you to browse their articles from Tech Republic or wherever. If I go to Fox News, they use mainly pictures and headlines and a little blip about uh, what's the content about. So you can choose whichever one you want. So then you can go back and uh, besides you know, sources, you can now go take a look at the next section like world or uh, any one of the other ones. So you don't have to sit there and go one by one. You can go different areas, different sections, politics and all that and talk about, uh, take a look at that. And you can drill down to those just like we did with the other one. If we go to world, here we are, we're looking at more and more world ones. So if you're interested lies in there, you can spend more time there and then another section. So that, that goes for all these other sections, uh, politics, you know, technology and science. You can browse around and jump into more details of each one of them. And they'll have more articles on politics. And you can take uh, all the feeds that they uh, give you. So uh, that's basically the, the navigation at both the uh, top level and the drill down level of each one of the sections. So that's basic navigation. You can scroll, just take it one at a time as you get it, or you can use the jump feature to jump into different uh, sections back and forth very quickly without uh, having to scroll back and forth these long, involved screens. Uh, so we can go into uh, all the different sections. So next we're going to talk a little bit about how you can make take out some of these sections, put other sections in, make your own sections to customize your news reader so that you not only get the news you want, but you get it efficiently uh, without distractions from other areas. So uh, let's get into that. So here we are back to the main menu. And in order to get to the customization, we're just going to right click here or anywhere in the main screen. And it's going to bring up the menu system again with the jump menu that you saw earlier. At the bottom left hand corner you'll see that we have the customize button so we click on that and sure enough here we are at the overall structure of the system. Now as we talked about a little bit earlier but in more detail now I'm going to get rid of the music that I created earlier uh, and I want to maybe move stuff around like we, uh, we talk about all the different areas but I want to move oh, let's say uh, business over here because I'm a business kind of guy. I want to know business stuff first. And I, well, even more so, I want to hear about technology. Uh, so then if I click back and I look over here and I scroll besides top, there's technology and then business. So I've already made a minor customization to the system. It allows me to see the articles or the sections that I want first. So I can go back in again. I say customize again, but you know what? I'm not satisfied with that. That's not good enough. I want to just really uh, start building my own application here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on every one of these here, and I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to get rid of them all. I'm going to get rid of sports, entertainment, opinion, politics, world, sources, business. The only thing that's not uh, gone is featured. They let you, they make you keep that. So, but if you notice here, uh, this menu here, which is normally a far out to the right is and asking you to customize. So let's go in there and start doing that. The first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and add a section, add back in one of those sections that we talked about earlier, we took out. Now if I go there and I say to features, I want to choose one of these, it ends up being a feed from a certain place like the Associated Press. So it's a little confusing, sections versus uh, topics versus sources. So I don't want sources. So I want to go back in here and I'm going to take that back out. Now, if I want to go by topics, I want to say, okay, I want to click on topics or I want to find a, it still says add a section, but now I'm going down here to music and I'm going to say, oh, I want to click on music. Well, not really, but at the top, I can just type in the subject. So I'm going to say music 
And where I get it from is either from sources or from topics. Here in topics, I can use an exact match of topic. I can just say Plano Music. I can say uh, music.com, Musica, Musica Gratis, you know, for maybe Spanish stuff. But well, for right now, I'm just going to use the word music to bring it in. And it's going to be bringing a section that's all about music in general. But it's not going to be about music in music uh, itself. But it's going to be, if you look at it, it's going to come up here. It's about music, and it talks about news about music, not the actual music. It's more about, oh, pizza, you're dying, or a startup of this and all that. So it's, it's sort of half of what you may want to know. You may want to know about music news. And if it is, just leave that section in, and uh, you can click on any of these to get any information. But if we, uh, if, it, if not, then we can go in and uh, get rid of this later on. But uh, let's go back here again, and we're going to go back to the customization screen, and we have music there, and, and we want to add a topic. Uh, in this case, I want to type in uh, a keyword that I want, a news topic they call it. So I want to put in, oh, Chicago uh, dogs. Uh, I'm a big hot dog fan, so I want to know about Chicago dogs. Now, this will bring in that section, and this gives a great explanation or great uh, demonstration of what you might end up with. I have some here on actual dogs. I have someone on the edible type of dogs, and uh, that would be like the uh, you know dog house, the one that talks about the restaurant. Uh, so you have to be careful what you select here to order these different to add these different sections. So obviously uh, it's not what I wanted. So what I'm going to go now do is I'm going to go get rid of that section. So back to customization we go. We just right click on the screen and uh, say customize and get rid of the Chicago dog and music for that matter. So we're back to the start again. So uh, we can go down there and check different areas. But here's the editor's pick. These are the original ones they had. So I can add in this back to the original configuration simply by adding all these back in. And it's their picks, you know, what they believe uh, people want to know. And sure enough, everything's back to normal. All the sections are back in just the way they were uh, from the start. Now that I've added them in, now I want to add in that personalized section. And we'll use music again as the example. So I'm going to type in uh, down here, I'm going to say music. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. I'm going to say sources. I'm going to click on topics, and here's all these. Now, if I click on more than one of these, I'm going to end up with that many sections. So that's not what I want to do. I want to have one section added called music. Uh, it, it's not where these all, if I type, uh, click on these, they all end up inside of one music section. You would have three or four more sections off to the right which is not probably what you want. You just want to have one section about music. So that's where it's not great as customizable. It's, just, it's not the perfect solution. But here I am. I'm moving stuff around now. I'm putting it back in the places I want, what order I want to read in the morning, what's the most interest to me, technology, then business. So if I go over here, it's going to update. And sure enough, uh, here we are with uh, technology, the next one, and then business uh, is going to be next. And I can make further further modifications. So let's say I uh, don't like this. After I look at this and you say, oh, this is exactly what I want. Let's say you want to make some more modifications. Don't hesitate to go in and make some more changes. I'm going to go. Matter of fact, I was thinking I wanted to see top stories still first. If I right click and I say, uh, yeah, I want top stories over here. So I'm back to uh, this situation where mine are the features is first. Top stories are next. And my stuff follows immediately after that. So now I pretty much configured the way I want to see uh, my layout. So now we're going to go take a look at like on all Windows 8 applications. We're going to go check the permissions and the, how it notifies us and things like that. We're going to do that by going off to the charm bar on the right hand side while we're in the application. And we're going to go here and look at some of the options. There's advertising. This is let Microsoft uh, use my information to personalize ads. I leave it on. You can turn it off, but then you're going to get ads, but you're going to get irrelevant ads. Uh, so I, I leave that on. Options, this is just simply about uh, the language and read your articles offline. So if you get disconnected and there's no Wi-Fi, you, they're all downloaded for you. I leave that on. Uh, you never know when you're going to not going to be near some uh, stuff. Personalization, sync across devices is very important because later on I'm going to show you how if I made all these changes to the menu, how they're going to actually show up on my laptop as well. It's very nice to have. Now, the last one was the permissions uh, to use my uh, other stuff on the other applications. Well, I'm not going to go into that right now. I just want to just, just my news application to sync, not everything. So we're going to leave that the way it is. 
So now uh, after that, we're going to go down here to uh, the, the permissions down here. And again, allow this to access my location. I'm going to turn that on so that it delivers news that's relevant to my location. It reads your IP address and where it's at. It may not be exactly near your home because it's from a router somewhere on your network, in this case, files. Uh, but the, that's okay. The notifications means it's going to appear on your screen in the upper right-hand corner. Breaking news stories will actually appear on your desktop or uh, on this app or on the start screen. Uh, if there's a, something important happens, national news, uh, it'll actually pop up there for you to look and you can go check out the article and it pops up. So we have, uh, we can go back here and we can take a look at what we've configured so far. We've configured our sections. Uh, there's also things called topics and sources. I can't really explain to you how different with topics and sources are. Sources are AP, different news AP networks, and you can configure those somewhat and add them to a sources section. But it doesn't mean that every section is fed from, every section is fed from a different source, depending on it. It doesn't work that way. Topics are just general topics you add, sort of like sections. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, but except for the fact that you can browse through sources, topics, and even videos. You can go here and pull in uh, top videos and take a look at what's going on in the world of videos by their uh, suggestions, not yours. So, uh, and you get these ads in the middle. But you know what? Let's go back and look at topics again. I'm going to make an attempt to, to explain it as well. If I go back here to the menu system and I right click and I say topics, and it says add a topic. So I click on this and I can add in a phrase just like I did uh, before on sections. So let's say add a topic. In this case, I'm going to put in uh, Microsoft as a, uh, as a one. So uh, these dots after means there's more words. Uh, I'm going to use the one without. That's just a plain word Microsoft with no other words with it. So if I just hit enter here and say add, uh, it adds Microsoft because I'm a Microsoft guy. So if I want to, I can add multiple topics, but these are all different things. If you notice, some of these headlines are exactly the same, just from different place. Uh, so let's say I want to add another topic. So, uh, oh, by the way, you'll see it listed there. But now I want to add another topic, and this one I want to uh, add in. Um, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and add in the same thing we did before. And we're going to type in Chicago, but instead of saying Chicago dogs, I'm going to say Chicago hot dogs. And again, this can be any phrase you want to use and say add. So now we have uh, Chicago's hot dogs. Now we have Honolulu style, 13 best hot dogs. So if I'm from Chicago and I want to know where to go that night and everything, uh, I can add that topic in. Now, while it's easy to d delete all the other things, it's a little tough uh, if you don't know what you're doing here. It took me a while to figure out how to get rid of these once I had them in there and to go back to the configuration screen. So let's do that. So if I right click again and go back to the configuration and I say topics and I want to get rid of these. Uh, I don't like these or I want to add. So if I right click, there's a remove button down here. If I click there, it says select a, uh, one or more sections to remove. Well, you have to right click just like a tile. You have to or if you drag down with a finger. It's the old check mark. So you click that and you say remove or you click both of them. Let's do, let's do both and click down at the bottom and say remove. That's how you get rid of them. I just wanted to put that in there because it took me a while to figure out how to do that. So here we are. We've we've got the application up. We've got it configured the way we want. So if I scroll from left to right, I see my top stories, then my technology. We have everything we want to see. We can uh, get distracted by uh, other types of uh, important articles they feed us, which makes Bing News a very good, very nice to use uh, program as far as being able to do it and configure. It's not as configurable as you want. You're stuck with their sources. You can add your own feeds to it. Uh, which we'll cover later on in another article. But the uh, whole point here is that it uh, allows you to set up a, a different version of it so that you can have what you want to have in the morning to read your article. So don't be afraid to go out there and play with it a little bit. Make it your own. Make it your own uh, newspaper out of uh, Bing News. Yeah, it uh, can fully support it. And enjoy your morning uh, cup of joe with your Bing News. And don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. We have over 150 Windows, Windows 8, and Windows Phone 8 videos, and we're publishing more all the time.